Rich and I are heading off for a night away. I'm so excited. Remember that trip in December that got cancelled? We had two nights away. We managed to convince them to give me one night refunded. So we rebooked it for January. Rich's parents have come down. So far, everything's gone to plan. I do you feel a little bit guilty because Rich, uh, not Rich, what's his name? The other guy in my life. Rudy. Rudy, wow. Rudy, Rich and Rudy, I get you confused. There's very lots of R's going on. Rudy's not 100%. Nothing bad enough that it's like not, he shouldn't go, but he's like got a bit of a cough and he was like up a bit last night. So I do feel a bit bad and I hope he's okay without us. But we're literally just going for 24 hours. We're going to her farmhouse. We've got some facials booked this afternoon. A kindly cow shed uh, booked us some facials. I'm so excited. Um, and we're going to pop to Bista Village. Have you just put the heating back on? I've got it on my feet. No, How you've got it on everything. No, it's feet. Because I'm like wearing this. like a polar neck. How is it going on your feet? I know it because it's on. I just, your feet doesn't hurt your. your can your I turn chest. it off my side? Yeah. How do I do that? We're also going to go via Bista Village on the way. This is what we were going to do last time, which I think it would have been nicer last time because it was the lead up to Christmas. Neither of us really want to get anything. Actually, you might. But it's just like one of those really nice places to go. Bista Village, if you don't know, is like a designer outlet so it's like a discounted village but it's got a really nice vibe to it and it's got some good shops so i think we're just gonna have a little mooch we can't check in until this afternoon anyway so we'll go to vista and then we'll go to the farmhouse for lunch and we've both just like i feel like the first half hour of the journey is always a bit like Ooh, are they gonna be okay and we like talk through everything and we feel a bit guilty and then we just like <sighs> relax into it and i mean i wish we were away for longer but i feel like by tonight we'll feel relaxed and it's just nice to like get away. We've even brought our favorite board game with us. We're such losers, but we can just <laughs> play our little board game together. Yeah, very, very happy, very much looking forward to the next 24 hours. Oh, also we were just listening to the Traitors Uncloaked podcast. I'm gutted that I've only just discovered this and we're like almost at the end of Traitors season two, but there's, there's like extra content. There's Traitors Uncloaked, which is on TV, but it's also a podcast. And it's so good. It's so good because you get to see all the reactions of people when they come out and they find out who's a traitor. And oh, so we were just listening to that, and it's very good. Okay, let's pop in here. I've seen this hoodie, which I really like, like an oversized hoodie, but it's down from two fifteen to one two nine, which is still a bit much for me for a hoodie, but it is very nice. Remember, I used to wear this low tuck t-shirt oh, with the holes in. <laughs> um, we are. There wasn't anything. There wasn't anything particularly that I loved in there, so just gonna have a little walk around. I always feel like it feels like Disneyland here. You know what I mean? Just come into New Balance and I got these for Rudy and then some pink ones for Grey. Obviously we've not bought anything for ourselves and we just bought trainers for the kids. Typical. Okay, all I've got for myself is a jam donut. <laughs> Happy with my purchase. I'm just terrible at shopping sales. I feel like it's always the stuff that no one really wants. Came back into Garni because I was thinking about this hoodie and I just wanted to try it on. Um, I do like it but it is just a hoodie so I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get it. It's definitely not worth it, but I just had to try it on. But then I did see that they've got this like bright yellow puffer coat that was originally 220, no, what was originally? The sale price was 225 and then there's a further 40% off, which makes it 150. So I'm just trying it on to see because I feel like it's a really good deal. Okay, they didn't have the coat in the size I needed. Let's just go before I buy something that I don't need just for the sake of buying it. I haven't been vlogging because we've just been enjoying some time together. Had a yummy lunch, shared a burger, been walking around and great news, we got upgraded, which really softens the blow of this originally being a two night thing and now it's just one night very very kind of them to upgrade us so we've now been moved to the huts which i think is like a new area we've never stayed in the huts before we stayed in the piglets and the cabins um look at the huts let me show you this is like a whole new area it looks really cool we've got hot chocolate it's honestly so cold our room won't be ready till this afternoon and we're like running out of things to do it's very like outsidey place i just want to like watch tv in bed really very cool and really different to the rest of it can i show everyone your nice new jumper I'm so into this. Sit back so I don't get anyone else on camera. Uniqlo. Yeah. How nice. It's like really, really, really soft. Zip. Half zip number. You're very happy with it, aren't yeah, you? I went to size up to make it relax. How much was it? It's in the sale. It's like hmm. 30 pounds. Nice. We're just waiting for our room. And I'm having a green tea at Penyang. Which is very nice. Helping my burger go down. 
and just enjoying a nice view. We are finally in our room. Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Oh, it's so nice, it's so warm and cozy. We had just like a lovely day an afternoon just like spending time together i love the chats that we have when we're alone we just never get time to like chat in the evening we're too tired honestly it's so important we don't do this enough but anyway so nice had so many lovely things to show you guys but i just didn't want to vlog like the shops here just gorgeous anyway something really funny just happened because we just got into our room and it's like it's cold today so we've been walking around and we're like oh it's cold um we got into our room and it's like four o'clock and we have facials booked at 5.45, can't wait. So we've got a little bit of time and we both started just like rushing around the room. Like Rich was rushing around and I was rushing around. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm just quickly getting into my gym clothes because I want to go to the gym before we go for our facials. He was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm just getting into a dressing gown and slippers because I want to have a nap before we go for our facials. I was like, I'm quickly trying to get cozy. I want to get in the Soho home dressing gown, and I've got the I've got the slippers on, these like little fluffy slipper things. And I'm gonna make a cup of tea. They always leave little like cookies in your room. Um, meanwhile, he's gone to the gym. I mean, how? Honestly, we had so wearing like a polo neck. I, I would say like a polo neck under a dressing gown is not not really the look. Um, I'm going for. We, ha we had like no sleep last night. Rudy was up all night. I'm absolutely exhausted and we've got quite a late dinner book. So I just wanna chill, scroll on TikTok, maybe have a little nap. This room is so nice. I just wanna spend as much time in this room as possible. And he's gone to the gym. It's so funny. I just thought it was really funny that we were both like rushing around doing opposite things. Whilst Rich has gone to the gym, I'm gonna chill. But shall I quickly show you around the room? Because they upgraded us to a hut, which is just so lovely. I'm so happy. So, so happy. I've never stayed in a hut before. It's like one of their newer ones. You do have to be a member to stay here, which is a bit annoying. I feel like you, you used to be able to book without being a member, but I think now you have to be a member. But it's like the thing we do once a year and it's so nice. Okay, so when you walk into the room, it's got this like terrazzo floor, which is so nice. And then on this side, it's got a little sink and toilet and they've always got really nice like anemones is that the word uh coat hanger situation if i pan over here you've got another sink mirror which is lovely and a uh, walk-in shower with this really gorgeous like reeded glass and then best thing about all the kind of soho house hotels and stuff is they have all the cow shed shower gels which are amazing okay so into the room when you walk in i love this you walk into the back of the bed and you've got this like beauty desk definitely so her home oh i've got that stool uh gorgeous mirror lamps a really really beauty beautiful desk to sit at and you've got wardrobe on this side gorgeous wardrobe pan over to this side is your little like kitchen area so I'm definitely gonna make myself a cup of tea. And I've just noticed they've got a hot water tap, which is amazing. Because I was listening or watching something online recently about whether people use kettles in hotels. It's just not something I've ever thought about before. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, never thought about it. And then people started to share their hotel kettle stories, things they've found in their kettle, things they've used their hotel kettle for. And honestly, I won't, I won't, traumatize you with stories but it's it's made me think twice so i have to say i'm very happy there's a hot tap in here wait let me see if i can find the cookies because usually there are some cookies oh i feel like they're gonna be here sugar oh grind coffee pods that is amazing oh yeah guys i found it this is the money maker homemade farmhouse cookies these are the best things you'll ever eat oh i'm so excited i'm gonna have one with my cup of tea now save the rest for later okay so this bed is amazing it's like green leather headboard gorgeous like wooden sorry the lighting in here is making it tricky to film gorgeous wooden side tables and lamps and oh my god this bed is so big <gasps> I feel like that could have been more graceful. Then at the end of the bed, gorgeous, gorgeous sofa, little kind of lounging area, another little sitting area by the TV. Really beautiful, I mean, all the furniture, all the, oh, I love it so much. Also got our own little fire, love that. Even have the, the matches there. Everything you need for your fire. How cool is this? And look at the curtains, amazing. Okay, so let me show you the, the whole kind of back window because this is what you're looking out to when you're lying in your bed just out to nature 
and actually there's an outdoor bath which I'm gutted because we booked a piglet and they don't have baths they didn't bring like any well it's an outdoor bath so I'd want to wear a swimming costume because I mean that's the restaurant I think I'd just be a little bit nervous to be totally naked but it looks beautiful like a big wooden bath maybe it maybe later if I'm feeling brave and a whole kind of outside little lounging area as well so I'm just gonna chill like I said do a bit of scrolling, do a bit of napping. Wait, let's make a cup of tea and then the napping can commence. Where do I find the tea? PG. Okay, PG. I'm gonna make myself a, a, a pot of tea because the cups look quite small and I think I'll want more than one. Okay. See if I can work out how to use this. Woo! <gasps> oh, okay, I lost the tea bag string, but it's all good. Okay. for a little bit. When I'm somewhere like this, I'm just thinking, oh my God, there are so many beautiful like photo opportunities, like the bath and like this whole room. I could take a million gorgeous Instagram photos, but then I have to remind myself like, I'm here for pleasure. <laughs> I'm not here for work. Like vlogging is fine. This feels pretty casual. Rich is even here right now. It's not like eating into our time. But if I start having to like make myself look good and pose and get him to take photos of me, like that feels worky and it feels like it's ruining our time alone. And it's a weekend and I just wanna switch off and not think about like how I look in photos or anything. But it makes me feel like a bad content creator because I know everyone else would be utilizing the beautiful surroundings and taking gorgeous photos. I just, it's fine. I don't need to share every element of my life. I must remind myself of that. Yep, I am officially in heaven. While Rich is getting abs, I'm getting naps. <laughs> that almost rhymes. Earlier we were chatting and we were talking about the kids and Rich was like, oh, I miss them. He was like, it's so weird, isn't it? Like, I really miss them, but I also don't want to be with them. <laughs> yeah, I just thought that was funny. I feel like other parents will totally understand what he means by that. <sighs> and relax. Right, many hours later, Rich is back from the gym. I did not move, I just lay on the bed and I scrolled and it was great. Um, and we're now going for our facials. Um, and it's so cold outside, so I'm not even joking. I'm putting my snood over my hat so that my snood keeps my neck and the back of my neck warm and my hat keeps my head warm. I'm doing my coat up. Are we gonna cycle to save time? Oh. Yeah, I think we should cycle there gloves I really need some, these are such weird gloves I really need some nice gloves these are like random long gloves okay gloves my tampon hurts this is the most TMI thing ever but considering I have a 98% female audience I can't stand the Tampax pearls and you can't like get the original ones anywhere I don't know why I find the pearls so hard to use so uncomfortable it really annoys me does anyone else feel this way am I alone in the world can't stand a Tampax Pearl, but they seem to have stopped doing just Tampax Compact that aren't Pearl. Why? Okay, let's do this bike situation. But when you cycle, the light comes on. Facial was incredible. I think if you could pick between a massage and a facial, I used to always go massage because I do love a massage, but now I realize the facial basically includes a massage. Like I got a little foot massage, I got a little chest and a neck massage, and I got my skin looked at as well. So they did like extraction, cleansing, exfoliating, mask, steaming. She said my skin was good. She said a little bit dehydrated. She said to watch out what cleansers I use because it may be stripping my skin. Skin feels good. Got back into my dressing gown. <laughs> Gonna have some chill time and then get ready later, go out for dinner. 
before I stop vlogging today, let me show you the board game we're obsessed with. This is the board game we are obsessed with that my sister introduced me to. It's called Othello. It's such a simple game that I think like anyone can play. Gray's a little bit young, but my sister's son, who is like six, can play. I mean, this is just too hard to explain in a vlog. Look it up online. Someone will make a video somewhere about it, but it's very relaxing because you can play it. You can play it whilst chatting because it's so simple. And it's just like turning things from black to white. So it's kind of like you're not on your phone, but you can chat and you can play and it's really addictive. I just found glass bottle Coke in the mini bar. Such a treat. Makes me feel like I'm actually on holiday. All right. Oh, I've forgotten how to use bottle openers. Wait, 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 wait. That way? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We are so full from dinner. How yummy. Good. What are we doing That's now? Nice. What a hug. An act of... Oh my God. Like you. <laughs> Rich's, go love, Rich's love language is touch or whatever it is so i'm trying to be more touchy um mine's acts of service wait 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 the whole reason i started vlogging rich is gonna run the outside bath and fill it with cold water so that tomorrow morning it will hopefully be a little bit of an ice bath for him to go in and have an ice bath eee, it's quite exciting i like i like watching not having to do it myself <laughs> don't get locked out oh, you're like so doors. crazy the fact that you like want to do this if i shut it will we get locked out I just need a cold. It might be like properly iced over in the morning. He's like, oh, a morning treat. Okay, we'll come back in the morning and check on this. This is my perfect Sunday morning. Lying in bed, I've had a shower and got back into bed. Lying in bed, cup of tea and the masked singer on TV and just looking out at this view. So good. That bath has not iced over, but I bet it's really cold. <clears throat> it's fresh out here. Oh, it's a ladybird. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Come touch it. Please, just so you can feel it. Oh my god, breathe! Jeez, why would anyone want to do this? Rich wants to have one of these in our garden. <laughs> yeah, I feel better now. Yeah? Yeah. Look at this. I mean, it's a beautiful view. Just <laughs> It's really cold! Uh, I'm keeping that in. <laughs> Okay, you're doing really well. I'm just gonna close the door because it's getting cold in here. <laughs> Woo, go you out there, honestly. Why? Why would you want to do that? This is more my vibe. Oh, perfect temperature. Oh, Ooh, very sunny. One sec. So, so windy this week. There's like a proper storm. I went out last night, me and my friends literally thought we were gonna get blown over. There was like bins flying everywhere. It was really funny actually, because I said to my friend, oh my God, it's like Twister. And she was laughing so much because she was like, I really don't think many people would understand that reference, but she knew exactly what I meant. Anyone else um, remember that film Twister? I was like a young teen, maybe even a bit younger, I think, when that came out. And it just really like traumatized me. I feel like I'm very scared of tornadoes now. But I just, I really remember that film. And then every time after seeing that there was a storm, I literally thought it was like Twister. I'm back home, as you can see, fully into the working week, having a great productive, week but i didn't want to leave the vlog there because i have got something to show you guys i've got something to open and unbox with you guys Oof, i feel like i'm gonna get a little bit hot and flustered for this part of the video the strange thing about my job is that i can't really buy anything under the radar without sharing it with you guys because i share what i wear i share my outfits and it would be so weird for something to just pop up in my outfits like no big deal not gonna really mention it you know in the past i felt 
a bit awkward talking about some of my higher priced items because you guys know in general I'm like a high street girl like a mid high street girl I invest in like a couple of things but in general I'm not like a big spendy designery person but in the past when people have asked me to talk about my watch or my engagement ring I just feel a bit oh, something about me just something about it just makes me feel a bit weird like talking about it and those things I've like avoided having to go in depth because it's like not necessary but I've bought a new bag and it's the most expensive bag I've ever bought I know that people will ask me about it and I don't think I feel comfortable putting it on Instagram so I thought YouTube is a nice like safe space because then I can actually talk about it and talk to you guys about how I came to this decision and obviously some of you will not be interested in this and that's absolutely fine I hope you enjoyed the first part of this video feel free to click off if you're not into this kind of thing but for those of you who did want to hear more about like why I bought this or my experience or anything this is here and I can like just direct people to it if they want to know. So I have lusted after this bag for a very long time. I don't know, I'm going to say like four or five years. For the first three years, it just didn't even like it enter into my brain to ever buy it. Um, had young kids, had young babies. Until my kids are like two, I don't really wear handbags. I wear a rucksack because it's practical. I've got both my hands free, clips onto the buggy or whatever. So I went through like a long period of time not even wearing handbags. Um, but now I'm kind of out of that phase. I am able to wear my handbags again. I've always really loved this bag, didn't want to spend the money. And I feel like I have tried so many bags to kind of like itch that scratch but they're they're not quite the same obviously they're never going to be the same i also recently bought a strathbury bag which was really expensive and then i ended up taking it back because i was like lily what are you doing you're just trying to get this bag without getting this bag and it's silly i wanted to treat myself in december for my birthday and kind of buy it for myself as a birthday present but it's actually a really crazy expensive month and i decided not to and then this month i've had a couple of meetings like not to do with money or anything but just a couple of meetings that have made me feel quite like proud of my achievements and I'm really not like a proud person but these meetings made me feel like I am kind of like worthy, more worthy than I tell myself I am. And so I decided to bite the bullet and buy the Loewe puzzle bag. But before I open the bag for you guys, which is in this box, I give a little backstory, okay? Throughout the years of wanting this bag, they have redesigned the bag, they've changed it. And I was kind of gutted when this happened because I was like, Lily, you've missed, you've been waiting so long, you've missed it, you've missed the chance. Because they redesigned this bag. They do still stock the old version in black and tan, but with silver hardware, which as many times as I've tried, just looks wrong on me. No matter what I do, the silver hardware, even though the tan one, it doesn't look proper silver, it is silver and it just looks a bit weird on me. If you go on TikTok and type in Loewe puzzle bag, there are many people who are kicking up a fuss about the, oh God, the light is just going in and out, sorry. There's lots of people who are kicking up a fuss about the redesign. They are saying it uses less material, but it's the same price. So it, does, it's not, it doesn't take as long to make. It's not as detailed. If you are interested in that kind of thing, you can go and watch. And it really threw me and made me think, oh God, this newer style is like not the one. Even though deep down, I actually quite like the new style. I really do like it. I think it looks more expensive in a way. I know that's maybe not the same opinion that everyone else seems to have. But I really like it and I, I also love the colours that it comes in. It comes in a lot more colours that are like right for me. But I just couldn't get out this voice from TikTok of everyone saying like, oh, it looks cheap, it looks like a copy, it's cheaper to make, da 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 da. I just really wasn't sure. I just kept going in to try it on and actually the customer service in the Loewe store on Bond Street is amazing. I really feel like it doesn't matter who you are, what you're wearing, I've been in there in like you know, my normal high street clothes, my whistles handbag, whatever, there was, there was never any judgement. I felt like I could go in, try it on, try on a few different colours, ask questions, change the length of the strap and then go, okay, thank you for your time and walk out and I never felt like, oh god, they're gonna get annoyed that I'm not buying it or anything like that. One of the guys even passed on his phone number to me if I needed any extra help. They were really kind when I went in store. I did, in the end, end up buying it from Selfridges, but I'm really glad that I went into store first to kind of try it on and see all the different colours and stuff. The reason I bought it online is because I want to see what the colour looks like in daylight and you're not allowed to take the bag out of the shop when you're trying it on. Um, I wanted to just check the colour in daylight before and then if I want to send it back it's much easier than having to go back into town to return it. Okay, let's just unbox this bag and then I will talk more about the old version and the new version and how I decided after way too much research that this was the right bag for me. Okay, so I got it from Selfridges. Here it is. Okay, so it's in a, it's in a big bag and then it's in a separate Loewe dust bag as well. Got a little logo there. 
So I went for <laughs> the Loewe puzzle in the small, and this is the newer design. The colour, <laughs> the colour is dark grey, which is does not sound like the sort of colour that I would want in a bag, but I don't think it really looks like a grey. I think it looks like a kind of brownie grey. And I'll tell you in a minute like why I decided on this colour. This is what it looks like. Let me just take out the tissue. Oh, see, as soon as the sun comes out, it looks like a totally different colour. This is what I wanted to test. This is actually quite a helpful test. Thank you, sun. Uh, it looks, it does kind of look a different colour in different lights. Look, now it's gone a bit overexposed. It looks really light grey. Anyway, this is the colour. It's dark grey. But as I said, it's a kind of brownie grey. Like, it's not a cool toned grey. I would say it's a warm toned grey. This is the newer design. The newer design, it kind of wraps around the edges. It's not as boxy. And this part, this stitch, doesn't have like an indentation, which a lot of people really hate about the new design. But I like this because a lot of people I know who have the older bag they get so much dirt and gross stuff in that indentation and I'm the sort of person that wears a bag to death and like properly wears it and I'm not precious about it so I want this to last it's a gorgeous grainy leather so it won't scratch easily but I really do, don't want to have that kind of dirt and having to clean it out all the time I personally love the newer design it is a little bit more structured but it's leather so it will soften it will eventually get this dip in the middle that the kind of Loewe puzzle bag look is all about. What I love about this bag, so many things. Mm, so excited. Obviously this has just come so I still need to try it on and make sure it goes with all my outfits and I like the look of it inside, outside, in pictures, in real life, all of the things but hopefully I will love it. I love that it's a top handle so eventually the bag will be a bit more like that. I love that it's a top handle so I can hold it, I can hold it in the crook of my arm but it's also got a long strap and the long strap is a really gorgeous length. You can alter it, but I love the shorter length. This is me trying it on in store and I sent it to a couple of people, a couple of friends, and they were like, oh my God, Lily, this is such a you bag. And that's such, that's the reaction I was really hoping for. I think it is a meek bag because I think it has the ability to be smarter if I want it to be smart, but also has the ability, ability to be more of a slouchy everyday bag. And I really think it is very much my vibe. I love the little cover that goes over the zip. I know some people find it a little bit hard to get into the zip. I don't think it is that hard, but it gives me that extra safety when I am like traveling around on the tube. I know that my bag isn't so easy to get into. It's got a flap and it's got a zip at the top, which I really like. It's also got the little zip pocket at the back which mm, i'm not sure if i'd use that but maybe if i had like my passport or something if i was traveling <sighs> i love it i feel like i'm talking really fast i i really really did do my research and i really thought about it and how much wear i'd get from this bag how long it would last the different things i would wear it to the final thing i need to check now that i've actually got it here with me is that it goes with all the colors in my wardrobe because i was worried about the gray typically gray is quite hard to match with things I just thought this was a really nice alternative to black. Sometimes I find black bags, we will say that they're like a classic, but actually it can be quite harsh, I think, against your outfit. And I find that this softer colour feels as versatile as black, but a little bit kind of softer. Got a few jumpers here. It would definitely go with the cream and black. Would it go with like a blue? Yeah, I feel like that would work. Would it go with a green? That's the thing that I was worried that would definitely go. I was worried about tan because I, even though everyone say, thinks tan is a neutral, the tan is quite orangey. So if I'm wearing colour, there's quite a lot going on. I was worried about that. Grey. Yeah, it definitely works with grey. What about like a warmer kind of brownie colour? I think this colour is really versatile. I think this will go with pretty much everything in my wardrobe because it has this kind of brownie undertone to it oh i love it i'm happy with my decision i'm very excited to wear this i feel like i will probably never take it off so sorry if you're going to get bored of seeing this now but i've honestly waited years and i'm so bad at decision making i'm just happy i finally just decided there you have it i'm going to go downstairs and make myself a coffee but i'm actually going to end this vlog because i'm heading tomorrow to scotland no not tomorrow two days time i'm going to scotland just for the night with Vive for their wellness collection, like candles, bath salts, I'm so excited. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna vlog yet, I might just share stuff on Instagram and TikTok, 
but I need to wrap up this vlog now so I can do some new content for that and then I'll be vlogging again next week. Thank you guys for watching and for your kindness and support as always. See you in the next video. Bye.